Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're going to talk about After Hours at the Magic Kingdom, which is a special ticketed event at Walt Disney World in Florida. And we're going to tell you all about this special ticketed event that lets you into the Magic Kingdom until 1 a.m. But what we want to answer is, is it worth doing? So we'll tell you everything you need to know to make an informed decision as to whether or not this is an event for you coming right up. So the Magic Kingdom is definitely one of my favorite parks, but it is packed. They've done a great job bringing in special events throughout the year, so they do stay busy, which is what they want. And when you talk to employees there, there really isn't a downtime anymore. There are some, you know, little bits here or there, but for the most part, it's really busy. And that means there are lines. So you still get your fast passes, you get three fast passes. But when you're talking about you're looking to spend a whole day there and try a bunch of rides, maybe you're only going for one or two days, you really can't necessarily get on too many rides because of the length of those lines. So as we said, this is a special ticketed event. So a special ticketed event is very much like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And what that means is that you have to have a ticket to go into this event. Now, you don't always require a theme park ticket. If you want to go for the entire day, you will need a theme park ticket. But most of these special ticket events will actually let you in without the theme park ticket. So for example, the after hours event, you can actually get into the theme park at 7 p.m. and stay until 1. Even though the event doesn't technically start until 10 p.m., you are able to get in at 7 p.m. But if you wanted to get in earlier, you would have to buy a, a park ticket for that day. And those events do have limited tickets, so there are less people in the parks. However, it's not as few people as with this event. Uh, if you are interested in the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, we do have a link to that. We will put in the description below, and there should be a card on the screen for you to click if you're interested in that video. So price. The ticket's price can change. They don't generally change that much, but it will cost you about $129 American for adults or kids. If you are an annual pass holder or a DVC member, it will be $95 American. It's quite expensive. It's as much if not more than the day pass, and that's from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Now, something to keep in mind is most of the facilities are actually closed during this event. So many of the merchandise locations and all dining except for the Main Street Cafe are, or the Main Street Bakery are closed. Washrooms are open and the majority of the rides are open as well. Now, that said, there is some food and beverage for free. Um, I'm all about unlimited and free. So all the popcorn you want, they've got popcorn stands out, Mickey sandwiches, ice cream bars, fruit, frozen fruit bars, as well as bottled beverages, which we were really a bit surprised that it was bottled, but they do have bottles of pop and water out um, at the food carts as well that you can grab on your way to activities or rides. Um, but as we said, the lines are pretty short, so don't get an ice cream bar when you get in line because you will not get it done before you get to the end of the line or the front. <laughs> So really the main things that Disney's trying to sell here is a quieter Magic Kingdom with some novelty food. So the question that you really want to ask is, are they actually delivering on that promise? And we think that they really did. You know, price aside, we've gone to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We're going to be going to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And the After Hours event was significantly less busy. So they are giving you a less busy Magic Kingdom. It is until 1 a.m., so it does go a bit late for kids and so forth. Uh, and there is food available that is unlimited. And it's not the greatest selection of food, but there is food available. And really, you can walk like we, we, we went on Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and you could just walk on and on and on that ride as many times as you wanted. There was a minimal wait at best. Uh, most of the other rides you could get right on. So really, they are delivering on what they're saying here. You do pay more for it. Um, however, you do get that. And that is, you know, quite a lot of fun. So as Aaron said, the lines are incredibly short. We really took this as an opportunity to get on some rides we wouldn't usually do, like Peter Pan, which can have a really long line and be pretty hot. The Tomorrowland Speedway, which Aaron had never ridden before and, you know, we're pretty big adults, so we took advantage of it being quiet and, and getting on that line. And that was actually the longest line we had all night was for that ride. It was like 20 minutes. But, you know, we really thought it was great to be able to do that. And we even, there are characters out and the characters have a little bit extra time to be talking with you and really interacting and making it a special experience when you're there in the evening. Yeah, we met with Rapunzel and we met uh, Cinderella 
and you spend quite a bit of time with them. We spent probably about five minutes with each of them, and it's not often you get to spend that much time with a princess at Disney. You're usually kind of in, get a photo, you know, maybe say one or two things and leave. They really have a lot of time for you because there just is time available. So that was really nice. So who do we recommend this event for? Well, if you're somebody who's going to be at the park for quite a few days, at the Magic Kingdom particularly, you're probably going to have enough time to get on the, all the rides you want to without going to this ticketed event. However, if you're not there for long, if you maybe only have a day or two and you really want to be doing the rides, we would recommend this event instead of buying a park ticket for that day because you can get on all the rides you want in that evening time. Also, someone that this would be good for is if the crowds are a problem for you, if you have time, a hard time with that. I was there with my friend and the large crowds really didn't work for her. So being able to maybe go at this time of night where you don't have the crowds, you don't have the lineups, we're usually there in the summer, it's a bit cooler. You know, this might be an, a good opportunity for people who, as we said, who have a hard time with crowds because there are none. So we thoroughly enjoyed this event and we will definitely be doing it again. Between the, you know, the ability to just walk on to rides, which is something you rarely ever get at the Magic Kingdom. The food that was there was pretty good. You had Coke products in terms of bottled drinks. You had popcorn, Mickey specialty bars. There was a lot, you know, there was a good amount going on there for you. Uh, just one note, you can, it is unlimited drinks. So we did bring a backpack and we probably paid for our ticket in bottles of water in terms of value. Uh, we just put a couple in our backpacks or Cokes. And as you know, in the parks, they're like five or six bucks. So, you know, it's a good way of also getting some pops or some drinks uh, for you or your family. And so, you know, they're pretty good with you doing that also. One thing to note though, was that near the end of the night, they were running low on some of the food. Uh, so, you know, do be ready that that you, you probably don't want to have the Mickey special, specialty bar at the end of the night. You probably want to make sure you're having that throughout the event. And since it's free, you're probably having a lot. So just a reminder at the end, they do start running out though. So this is definitely my favorite ticketed event. Don't get me wrong. I really like the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, the parade, the new projection for the castle with the fireworks and the specialty foods are great. But to be able to do as many rides as we did, have those awesome character interactions and enjoy some ice cream, popcorn and stuff while we went through, it was amazing. I have never been able to walk on those streets without so many people around. Like it was absolutely hands down my favorite. And when I go back with my family members who don't have as long there, I would recommend that we pay for this ticket to do this one night event so we can be on what we want without spending hours of our day in a line. So a little bit on the negative side, there's really only two negatives that we really had, and that was one, the cost. You know, it can be very expensive. You got a family of four, even a family of two. Uh, it's a pricey ticket in order to have access to the Magic Kingdom. That said, you know, Disney these days, pretty well everything's a special, special ticket, and at least you can go there at a less busy time. And the other uh, negative is that there isn't very much diversity in terms of food. Uh, it's pretty well just junk food. You've got popcorn and the Mickey specialty bars uh, and pop and some water. Uh, so you're going to want to eat beforehand more than likely. Uh, sure, you could make this a full meal if you are, uh, if you're brave enough to. Uh, however, you probably want to eat before. So be aware of that. The food diversity is not very great. It would be good if they could offer a couple extra things in there instead of just, uh, you know, freezer frozen Mickey bars or pop. But, you know, I'm not really going to complain. It would be nice to see a little bit more, though. I mean, I'm sure they could toss in a couple of boiled hot dogs or, you know, some very easy carnival food that you could uh, you could add to to the offerings here uh, just to give you something a little bit more, even like a fruit bowl or something along those lines would be amazing. But I understand why they don't. Uh, but of course, do be ready. Get, you know, eat a meal beforehand or bring some food if you want to. So a big thank you to everybody who commented on the Coronado Springs room tour video. Thank you, Alpha Traveler, as always. And thank you, Heather Travels, for the discussion that we had in the channel. Uh, if you do want to see anything Disney related, uh, please let us know in the comments if there's events that you'd like to see or hotels you'd like to try. Uh, let us know. We would absolutely take your feedback for the next time we're there. We will be doing Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year, uh, which we've never done, so we're highly looking forward to that. Again, a huge thank you to everybody and your comments and your feedback. Uh, we enjoy helping everybody make an informed decision for their, their trips and their travels. 
uh, and of course that includes Disney. So if you do have comments, as I said, toss them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you did, and we hope you consider subscribing. So thanks again, and happy travels.